In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a modified railings for the different types of stirs in ARCHICAD. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In this tutorial, I would like to modify the uh, default railings that we have in the ARCHICAD. And uh, I want to start with creating some profiles and special posts to create these type of railings. If you remember from the last tutorial, we have um, two basic parts, which is segments and nodes. Then we have top rail, which basically we can create a special top rail uh, with the profile manager. Uh, we could have the handrails, which we could create a special one with the help of Profile Manager. And then the railings is also uh, the same. We have inner posts, which we can create our own post, or we could also use the Profile Manager to create the posts and lusters. Also for the panel, I tried to create a different style uh, for the panels, but uh, the outcome didn't go very well. So maybe in this tutorial, I'm not gonna talk about the panels, only the uh, balusters and uh, inner posts and handrails. First, I should create the profile that I want to use for the uh, top rail in the railings. I drew a shape, like a profile uh, shape of the handrail, which here we could grab the handrail. And here I create a hole to um, hide a lighting for the stairs. And I try to design a special handrail, but not very uh, complicated. Also, you can draw something like this very easily. If you take a look at the tutorial I made for how to work with lines and arcs, if you watch that video and you like it, don't forget to hit the like button. I'm gonna continue with the uh, profile that I'm making. I'm gonna create a fill with the fill tool by holding down the space key on the keyboard. The magic band is gonna show the boundary that we are creating the fill. So I'm gonna click once and I can select the fill. Here we could change the type if you want, it's not necessary, but for example, I'd rather to put it on the wood. Then I'm going to um, copy this fill by Ctrl C on the keyboard. I'm going to the option element attribute and profile manager. I'm going to create a new one, name it as handrail. I always put the letter Z at the beginning so I could find it faster uh, in the list that I have. I'm going to hit OK. For now, I'm not going to explain this stuff. If you want to know this, click on the tutorial I made right up here and uh, watch the tutorial. This is the profile manager area. I'm going to paste the field that I just copied. Center of the current view, keep the current view and paste. OK. I'm going to put it here as it's like the center. Then I'm going to set it for the railings and save. Now I can close it. I'm going to select the railing tool. Then here I'm going to select the default uh, metal railings that uh, ARCHICAD provide us. Then I'm going to set these two on associative and I'm going to hit OK by holding down the space key on the keyboard. The magic band is going to show us a schematic view of the railings. I click once and then I'm going to take a look at it in the 3D view. Now I want to change the handrail to the profile that I just created. So I'm going to select the handrail, going to the setting dialog, selecting the top rail, and here by selecting the rail 25, which is the version of the uh, ARCHICAD that I'm using, we only have these options. By clicking on the, the profiled uh, rail, we could select a different handrail for the railings that we are creating. I'm going to select the handrail that I just uh, created. Then uh, I'm going to uncheck the fixing because I don't need fixing for this one. And then I'm going to hit OK. Like that, we could have the railings with the profile that uh, we desired to design the railing for our project. 
Then, of course, we could change the uh, material. We could change the height and everything. I'm not going to do it right now because I explained every detail about controlling the railing tool in the previous tutorial, which you can click on the card right up here and watch the tutorial for more details. I'm going to select the railing tool again. For the endings, I'd rather to have something like this with no offset. Then uh, for the connection, it seems fine. So I'm going to hit OK. And I fixed the starting point of the handrail. Now I want to make a different blasters or post for this stair. I'm going back to the uh, plan view. Here I created the shape which now is only the arc and lines. We have two options to create something like this. First is using the slab tool, and the other one is uh, creating it with the morph tool. Since I didn't speak about the morph tool, I'm not going to use this. And uh, instead, I'm going to use the slab tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Then by holding down the space key on the keyboard, we could have a slab uh, shape like this. Then I can uh, remove the middle part by removing like this and this one, also this one. Okay, this is the shade that I would like to use as host or blasters in the staircase. Of course, you should pay attention to the thickness of the slab, which uh, represents the thickness of this metal part that we're going to use in the stir railing. So I'm going to the 3D view. Here is the slab that uh, we just created. As you see, if I select it, this is a slab. I'm going to right click on this and convert this selection to the morph. I'm going to click on this, then OK. Now it's turned to the morph tool. Now I have to rotate it to make it stand still and then I'm going to convert it to be used for the post or balusters in the railing. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to hold down Control E on the keyboard and then we see the cursor is showing us a circle with a lot of degrees. It means that we are rotating uh, this element. So on this side, I'm going to click once in the middle. And if I come here, the circle is going to rotate by the horizontal plane. So I'm going to click once here. Then I'm going to uh, click on this X. And I'm going to click on the Y X, which is minus 90 degree of rotation. Then I'm going to click like this. And here we could uh, select the elevation to be on zero. Now this could be turned to the post of the SIR. To do that, we should go to the file, libraries and objects, and save selection as railing post. I'm going to click and hit the OK. Here I could name this post. So like post 01. Then I'm going to save it. And here we could select different surface color or uh, the surfaces that we have and of course the material which I'd rather to be an iron then we could set different line type or a different color for this object I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm moving to the stirs that I was making the uh, handrail I'm gonna select the handrail going to the settings here on the segment, I don't uh, need this one, so I'm going to remove it. Then I'm going to select the inner post. I'm going to set this distance to something like 30 centimeter, since the steps has the depth of 30 centimeter. And for the post style, I'm going to select the post 01 that I just created. Then in this preview, we can see the post that we created. Then for the blasters, I'm going to select also the uh, post 01 for this. Then for the better result, I'm going to the segment and set the segment pattern to start from the center. And then I'm going to hit OK. 
As you see, the post that we made has been uh, rotated uh, in a different orientation. The, to fix this one, I should just rotate the object that I created as the post, which is here. So I'm going to rotate it with the control E on the keyboard. Then I'm going to the uh, 3D view, do the same process again. Then the railings will be uh, updated automatically because I uh, override this to the previews, which is uh, this one. And as you see, the railings has been updated to this shape that we just created. So with a little bit of changing the dimensions between the post and the blasters, we could achieve a very good result. Like this, we could have a modified railings for our design in uh, Archicad. Also, if I spend more time to change some uh, dimension and settings for the railings, I can fix uh, this part. But instead, I'd rather to move on to another railing and explain another style for this stair. So I'm going to select the railing tool again. Then I'm going to the default setting of the railing. This time, I'm going to select the glass panel railing. Then on the segment, I'm going to remove all the part except the panel like that. And for the inner post, uh, we could have none. Then also we don't need this one for this type that I want to uh, create. Then I'm going to hit OK and do the railing like this. OK, now I have to remove this installation part and the post, of course. So I'm going to the post and put it on the non. Then I'm going to edit the panel itself. I don't want the fixing. Then uh, for the thickness of the glass, I'm going to put it on the 10 centimeter. And uh, for the material, I'm going to select a solid material like gypsum plasterboard. Then I'm going to remove all the uh, distances that it has to the next panel or to the ground or even to the top rail, also this one. Then I'm going to hit OK. And now it seems that we have a handrail that made with the walls. So I'm going to change some settings for this type of railing to cover up the uh, to this distance between the railings and the stairs. I'm going to the segment here. I'm going to put in minus 20 centimeter and uh, the height of the railing is it's fine for now. Then I'm going to change the reference line with the distance of zero. So I'm going to hit OK. And now it seems that this railing is fit to the stairs that we have. Also, I could reduce the thickness of the stairs. There you go. We are having something like this as the railings for the stair. I'm going to select this setting with the pickup parameters by holding down the Alt key like that. And then by holding down the space key on the keyboard, I can create the other side of the stair. Now you learned how to create a specific handrail in Archicad. We could also do it for the curve stairs like this, or I could select this one to create here like that and this is it for this tutorial if you learned something new from uh, this tutorial don't forget to hit the like button 
if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorial, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. There will be many more uh, tutorials uh, about Archicad tools and also other applications that benefits the architects. And also, if you know something more about uh, creating the modified uh, handrail uh, in Archicad, please write it down on the comments and share it with everyone. This is it for this tutorial. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.